Good morning. It's Friday, July 21st, 2023. 21st, 2023. Um, I want to tell a story. A story that starts way back a long time ago, this past Saturday. Actually, it starts a little before that. So, I manage a website for my aunt for a church for a school in Ghana. And uh, it's a very basic web page. It just explains what they're doing. Um, it has a donations page and stuff like that so that the, uh, you know, they want to take donations for the church so that they can help the school. My, uh, my aunt is a missionary. She travels to Ghana to help the school out. So that's all very much, much nicer person than I am. Um, but I volunteered to, uh, to help with the web page because in a former life I did some uh, you wouldn't know by looking at this web page. It's very, very sophomoreish. But um, in a previous life, I used to uh, mess around with HTML and Flash. I, I missed. I, I was very sad when Flash went away because I started getting really good at Flash. Um, but anyway, I manage a website. So uh, I built it a while ago, and uh, we have a domain and all that web hosting and stuff like that. And uh, I used. Uh, I didn't. I didn't write the HTML from scratch. I used a. Uh, a piece of a uh, piece of free software, basic uh, HTML web page editor. Um, I'm not using WordPress like I should because I never I never spent any time teaching myself WordPress, which I understand would take me about 10 minutes. Um, but anyway, none of this is part of the story. So I manage this web page for my aunt, and uh, we haven't updated it in a while. So um, the the piece of software I use to edit the web page is called Nice Pages. Um, I also use Coffee Cup Free FTP to upload the, the files once I modify them locally to go my GoDaddy. Well, it's theirs, uh, their GoDaddy. Uh, I I bought the initial name, but they uh, they decided to go with a slightly different name. So now they they paid for the domain. They paid for the domain, but I think it's under my account. Uh, not sure. Again, none of that really matters. They have access to it. They have the password and things like that. So anyway, I use Nice Pages. I modify the account locally, um, the, the web page locally. When I'm happy with it, I upload the files to GoDaddy. When I initially set up the uh, the hosting, I set it up wrong, which isn't a big deal. All it means that is that after I upload to GoDaddy, I have to log in to GoDaddy cPanel file manager and move the files from the location that they upload to to the actual HTTP, HTTP public HTTP uh, folder. So all of this incredibly boring has not much to do with the story. So it had been a while since I had updated the web page and I started to do it and uh, I ran into problems. Initially I was able to load the web page. Um, I'll go to the web page, look at it, and then I ran into problems when I was trying to upload the files. I modified, made the, the corrections that they wanted, some modifications. Time has gone by since we put the thing up, so some of the some of the timelines had to change. Now three years turned into four years. Blah blah blah. So uh, also the personnel that are at the school had changed. They had added people. So you know, just little bits, sentences, and phrasing had to change. Should have taken me. I want to say, from the time I walk into my home office to the time that the updates were complete, if the computer was off, it should have taken me less than five minutes to complete this task. Um, because it's very easy, it's a very basic website, there was like literally three things that actually had to be changed. So it would have been go go in, turn on the computer, it's a, it's a nice new, newer shiny computer, very powerful, so boots up very quickly. Fire up Nice Pages, fire up Coffee Cup FTP, open up GoDaddy, make my changes, be happy with it, upload them, move the files. I'm done. My uh, my good deed for the for the epoch is over, and uh, not the case. So when I I made the modifications, um, tested it, looked at it, and it uh, was fine. Uh, but when I tried to upload it. Um, I got, uh, I had no problems. I think I uploaded it without an issue. When I went, yes, when I went to GoDaddy into cPanel, um, cPanel wouldn't load. It loaded the first time, um, 
but when I tried to do file transfers, I got a timeout error. So this was concerning. So I did all the normal stuff, cleared my cache, blah, blah, blah. After I cleared my cache, I wasn't able to get to the original, the, the actual website that they're hosting for me. All of a sudden, that timed out. So this began, this began a saga that just ended uh, yesterday afternoon. So I tried, I tried a bunch of stuff over the course of the day. Um, and my initial thought was, uh, well, this makes sense. I can't get to my website and I can't get to the tool uh, that helps me manage my website. They're both through GoDaddy. So my thought process is it's, it's a GoDaddy issue. So I'll contact GoDaddy. They were very friendly by the way. Um, and, uh, I talked to some people, and I eventually got a hold of a guy. I don't think he was the first person I talked to, but uh, it, it didn't take long to get to this guy. It might have been the first call. It might have been the second call. And uh, he, he was he was pretty savvy. He uh, he knew his way around stuff, so he had me doing um, trace routes and pings. And it turns out, I didn't realize this because uh, most of the stuff that I use on the Internet I had access to, but it turns out there was a large swath of the internet that was invisible to my computer. Um, and uh, so it basically it's a provider issue. I, I know that's, that's the nightmare. You, you know, you've got a problem with a website. They tell you it's the provider. You go to the provider. They say everything's fine. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that I, did, I didn't really think about this. Um, and you, you might not normally think about this, but when you're accessing a website, um, if you're not in the same location as another person accessing that website, the traffic doesn't go in the same direction. It, it, it's, uh, we're not all peer-to-peer. -peer. There's not a wire in your house connecting your computer to every computer out there. It goes through a series of nodes. And depending on where you're located, uh, an extreme example would be I'm on the East Coast, they're on the West Coast. So if they're trying to reach a specific website and and I'm trying to reach a website, they can get through and I can't because there's something happening in the middle. That's that's the explanation that I was given. He said, like, look, we did the trace route. We can see that some of these things are timing out, blah, blah, blah. So obviously um, there's a problem. You can't see part of the internet. So we, uh, I... See, I'm trying to remember the timeline because it, it's it's a pretty big blur. It was very frustrating. Um, at one point, I had uh, all everyone everyone I dealt with at Xfinity to to solve this issue. Just to let you know, so I don't have to say it over and over again. Again, GoDaddy they were very very friendly. Xfinity um, every everyone um, they all clearly work in the same room or they all work in a series of rooms in a foreign country and um, very hard to understand not very helpful like it I, I used to work in a uh, in a kind of a what seems like a similar situation I used to sell tickets to the uh, firemen's I'm sorry the police thrill show and the, the firemen's whatever uh, I'm Charles productions and it's uh, you have a script you have a very you have a script you have to memorize and like over the course to the started Saturday morning over the course of the next few days um, I kept uh, I got on like endless loops with bots where you know you'd, you'd be on an automated system then you'd get connected to somebody they do a couple of things that are like in the playbook and then they would give up and then you'd be back in the automated system you'd get somebody they'd go through the same thing so over the course of the past few days I have reset my router cleared my cache, uh, dumped my DNS history, uh, gone into incognito mode in every browser imaginable, Rockmelt, Opera, uh, Netscape, <laughs> Edge, Chrome. Um, it, it's actually a very long list. So, you know, they um, just the same, the same things over and over again. You, keep, you, you can't get to a real tech you get to these people that are basically used to turning it on and off again, and that should solve your problem. So, it's too cold. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm on the phone with Xfinity, and at one point, I get this woman. I'm explaining my issue. 
Um, we're going through the steps and she says, well, that's all I can do. I can't help you. I was like, well, what do you mean you can't help me? I like, I need access to the internet. I need, I need to update web pages. I like, I can't, you can't like, and like, I'm not going to be able to give an accurate timeline because it all blends together. At one point, um, up until I started getting technical support from Xfinity, I had access to all my Steam servers. My daughter had access to all of her Steam servers, meaning like she could get on VR chat. I could play shoot 'em up in Half Life too. Um, but halfway through, or a quarter of the way through this long ordeal, I lost all of that. So no servers, uh, no no multiplayer servers anywhere on the planet um, were accessible. I, I I brought up a list of live. Half-Life 2 servers that currently had people in them. They're like three pages of just, uh, you know, 70.163.18.22. I'm just making those numbers up. And it's just, you know, you ping that and uh, no connection. Like, just every single one timed out. Um, so I couldn't access any servers. Uh, my daughter's games weren't working. Um, so that was a pain in the neck. And then... Uh, somehow, like, I guess they figured out what was going on. They saw that, I, that there was no connection between me and the website that I manage. Somehow they fixed, fixed that one connection, and then they called me and asked me, is your problem resolved? I don't know how they did it. Someone in the back thing was like, oh, we can't get to this website? Let's look. Oh, here's the problem. And somehow, like, there must be a whole series of uh, snowmen with their hats blown off Somehow they gave me access back to that. By the way, this this went so deep, they they uh, GoDaddy checked everything for me. Um, back to GoDaddy because that's that's a very pleasant experience. Uh, they they went to the trouble to make sure that I wasn't part of a um, oh I can't remember the word they used mitigation. Uh, they wanted to make sure I wasn't part of mitigation, so they went through all the trouble to check that. And what mitigation is is uh, if you have a bank of um, URLs or IPs, I'm sorry, IPs that are uh, doing a DDoS attack or something like denial of service attack, um, then what they do is they, they throttle or they block, not them necessarily, but it gets throttled or blocked, um, and then there's a list of ones that, are, that you can check, and I, I'd like to know how to check that. I should ask where he goes to check that. Um, but my IP was not one of the ones that was being throttled or blocked due to denial of service attacks. So... Anyway, back to back to Xfinity. Um, like I was saying before, I got distracted for a fiftieth time. Um, this one woman said, "There's nothing I can do to help you." Blah blah blah. I said, "Well, can, 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 can you give me to someone else? I, I need I need advanced technical support. I need no." She's like, "No, no other department is available." Like, like, basically, just trying to get rid of me, telling me there's nothing they can do. You know, they're my internet provider, but um, whoa. They can keep providing the internet. You just can't access it. Oh well. So this is frustrating. I at this point I try a bunch of different stuff. I have a uh, AI mesh uh, Wi-Fi extender uh, system set up. Got a lot of words. I don't know what any of it means. Uh, I've got two two nodes, uh, or router and a node that I attach to the uh, Xfinity box. Um, so I decided that maybe, maybe that's the issue. Like, I'm, like, getting frustrated dealing with them. This is a couple days in at this point. I was like, like I'm just going to keep Googling and trying. Because most of the time, um, I can solve issues. Like, I have a little bit of knowledge, and I'm not afraid to mess around. Like, I'll Google learn, make mistakes, fix it. Google learn, make mistakes, fix it. And I never, uh, like, I, I like, I like to learn new things. I'm getting older, so it's harder to retain new things than, like, a lot of the tricks I used to know, I have to look them up. I just I don't remember how to do them. Like something as simple as uh, finding my my internal IP address, <laughs> I have to look up look it up to do it because I don't I don't do that kind of stuff often enough anymore. Uh, anyway, so I end up disconnecting, resetting the uh, the extender, not the router, um, not the Xfinity router. Actually, at one point I did reset the Infinity Xfinity router. Um, but it's uh, long after this. So reset them, like go back to the very beginning, set up completely new Wi-Fi networks. Give me one moment.
A large black coffee, please. No. That's it. Okay. All right. Sorry about the ding, ding, ding. Just the one moment. Oh. That stopped. Oh, because I plugged my seatbelt in. Um, so yeah, I took my I took my Wi-Fi extenders. I, I reset the secondary, um, gave them new names, uh, got them working. Um, they, they were they were already working, but like you know, I'm, at this point, I'm desperate. I'm trying everything I can to get stuff working because I'm supposed to be updating a website. So that doesn't work. Um, still fighting with Xfinity. Still. Endless phone calls where people only know how to do three things, and then they they get disconnected. Um, I finally get escalated. Hi. I'll do three seventeen for you. All right. Thank you. There you go. Thanks. Have a great day. Okay. You too. So get escalated to someone and they finally decide they're going to send a technician out to my location. That in of itself was an ordeal because no less than, I want to say like eight times, I would get messages where, the, ah shit, I would get messages where they were trying to get me to cancel the, uh, like, you know, I, that's probably not what they're trying to do, but they like it just they kept sending me these text messages saying you know your appointment set for well, the initial thing was the uh, the first person and I did finally meet one nice person at Xfinity and she's the one that got me set up with the appointment um, she was the polar opposite of the woman who said we can't help you also the woman who said that she can't help me she ended she ended up calling me back hours later and when I answered the phone, she was like, oh, sorry, wrong number. Like, not, not in that voice. I can't do the voice. Um, it's, uh, it's an accent that's very, very, very east of here. Um, but, uh, yeah, so she, like, she calls me and she very rudely says wrong number. While I'm on the phone with the nice person from Xfinity that got me set up with the uh, on-site technical support. So, she says, the only bad thing about that experience was, she set it up for Friday the 20th. Um, today is Friday. Today's Friday the 21st. So, um, and I, I'm not the only one that heard it. Uh, my wife was in the room at the time, and she heard Friday. She didn't hear the 20th. Um, but it, she set it up for Friday the 20th. Um, so, uh, turns out the appointment was actually for Thursday, and I'd already agreed to be there, thinking I was going to be staying home Friday. Anyway, I had to change my plans. I had to uh, work remotely yesterday in order to meet the technician. Um, there's a lot of details I'm leaving out, um, specifically probably because I don't want to get accused of slander, um, but it, it, was, it was a horrific ordeal. Um, so now, it's yesterday, Thursday the 20th, the, uh, the fellow shows up uh, pretty much on time, um, and he's in and out pretty quickly. He tries a few things. Um, none of it works, um, and then he swaps out the router. Um, I've recently... Um, so I, I've been living up here, I think, for over a decade now, um, and I've had the, same, had the same router box the whole time. Up until recently, within the past year or so, um, I did uh, request a new box around the time when I was going to get the extenders, um, just just because the uh, the technology had changed and I knew I would need the newer router. And I rent the box. Don't don't throw shade. I know it's not necessarily the best idea. Like it, it, there's pros and cons. Yes, I'm renting the equipment. 
Um, it would be better to own my own equipment, but the upside is their equipment is compatible with their network, and every few years you can just get a new router. So yeah, in the past in the past two years I've had three routers. The original, the replacement I asked for, and then the one he installed yesterday. So he installs it. Like oh, the other thing that they kept saying was repeatedly trying to scare me out of the appointment was if it turns out that the problem is your end you're going to be charged for the service call it could blah 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 it's like oh my god i don't care i need it fixed if the problem's on my end fine it's on my end i've tried everything i can't fix it so it goes on like this um so the guy comes in tries a few things they don't work um finally he replaces the router um we set up a new network and it just works. It just immediately works. I've got access to the internet. Everything's fine. All the servers are up and running. I can access the web page. I can access cPanel. I can upload files. Um, and one thing that they did though, that, that nice woman I was talking about from Xfinity, um, I guess she saw, uh, maybe she was looking at my issue history and she saw, um, what I had been dealing with, and she increased my uh, my speed for free. Um, so yeah, like now it's uh, it's it's crazy. Uploads still suck. Uploads are still like twenty five, but downloads are up around eight hundred, um, which is nice. That's more speed than anyone needs. Um, like you can run you can run multiple multiple houses worth of streaming devices simultaneously with those kinds of speeds. Uh, uploads are only 25. That, that only matters. Um, well, it, it only matters sometimes. Uh, so, the, uh, it, it, at the end, he tried to say the problem was that the, the network on their router or their gateway router modem um, and the network on my extenders had the same name. I don't think that's true. It, it's always been a specific name. Even if it was true, it only because I, I did pick a new name for the extenders when I was like, you know, halfway through this issue, couldn't get to the internet. So it's like the problem existed before I renamed the before I named the Wi-Fi. On top of that, they didn't have the same name because I'm a terrible speller and I spelled the new network's names wrong. So even if I named the, the home network one thing, there's a, there's a spelling mistake in the, uh, the two um, Wi-Fi extenders. So. So, so it, it was, he was basically trying to, you know, again, it, it just feels like a playbook. He was just trying to get to the point where it's like, clearly the problem was your end. You screwed up. That's why you kicked the internet. Um, I would buy that if, and only if I hadn't done anything to my extenders until after I already had a problem. But, um, he did say when he was leaving that the, uh, the, the visit was free. So I got a new, I got a new, I got a new gateway modem router. Um, the extenders still work with it. Um, I'm going to reset them to factory, rename the network because now there's like a bunch of Wi-Fi things with a bunch of different names floating out there. I just want to get rid of them. Um, just start with a fresh name. Um, that's just an OCD thing that has nothing to do with it working. Uh, just, just for consistency, we, we just want to know which one to log on to because now I've got there's like six Wi-Fi networks floating around my house, all with similar names, and some of them don't work. Uh, so, also got to make sure we go into all the devices and forget the networks that don't exist anymore. So the upshot is um, he got it working. I was able to uh, suddenly see all of the internet. I uploaded my files. Everything worked. Um, it's very, very like it, it, it sucks. Like you, you go through that, you're a week without like the internet that you need, and then like you're, you feel you feel.
feel stupid for being so happy that it works. Um, and I, I know it's first world problems and all that, but I kind of need the internet. Fortunately, um, I didn't lose the part of the internet that connects me to my work. Uh, because, like, I worked remotely one day. This, this week it was two days I worked from home because yesterday I had to be home to meet the uh, Xfinity guy. But, uh, yeah, that, that would have sucked if I couldn't do work from home either. Because um, then I'd have to drive in. Like, not that I haven't been doing that for years, but it's nice to have that one day where I can get a couple of extra minutes sleep. So anyway, that's, that's the gist of the, uh, the ordeal I went through this week with uh, Xfinity. There, there, was, there was a separate issue where I don't, I don't edit this web page enough. Like, it, it, it's been a long time since the last update. It's been a couple of months. And like I said, I, when, I set up the, uh, when I set up the domain, I set it up wrong. And when I upload the files to uh, GoDaddy, they upload to the wrong folder. So I have to go in. If, if I, I should spend a couple of minutes and fix that because uh, I was getting a different error when I was trying to, um, you know, move them from one folder to the other. And it's because I've done multiple mistakes. I've got, I've got a recursive, I got a couple of recursive folders in there and I keep, I was moving the files in the wrong direction. After I realized what I was doing and I moved them in the right direction, the web page was updated, all the corrections were made. I was very happy. Actually, haven't I haven't called my aunt yet to tell her that I finally updated the web page. I called her to told her I called her to tell her that I was having connectivity issues back on Saturday. Um, but yeah, these these technical support issues. Like I hate not knowing what the actual problem was. I learned a bunch of neat stuff. I thought there used to be a website where you could map you could actually get a map of the servers that your traffic goes through. And I tried like heck to find that and I couldn't. So I ended up doing trace routes on individual IP addresses. Um, if that doesn't exist, I think I would like to write a little program that would like just, you know, kind of be like a, a tr tr you would just basically do a trace route and, um, you know, just pick a couple of hundred um, popular websites. Google, CNN, whatever. They're just a bunch of uh, bunch of popular websites, and then like you could add your own, and just see how your computer gets there, and see if there's any uh, any problems with traffic along the way. At this point, I don't really know what the issue was. Obviously, replacing the router fixed it, but um, I'm not saying there wasn't something I didn't do to cause the problem. I just don't think there was. The thing he told me doesn't make sense because I already had the problem before I started renaming, uh, before I started reinstalling and renaming networks. So it, it could obviously be a cumulative problem where something went wrong and then I made it worse and stuff like that. The, the thing that really, really confuses me is how they were able to fix the one specific website, like the one that I manage how they were able to give me access to that one and not fix the issue. And like, they literally called me and said, can you get to the website? Great. Your problem solved. You're trying to end the ticket. I was like, no, I like, okay, you got me onto that website. The rest of the internet is dark. Like, I, I don't know how you fixed that, that, but can you do that for every site on the internet? Um, and, uh, yeah, so that that's that's something that's like just digging into my brain. It's like, how did they do that? How were they able to? They know there was a problem. They did something to fix my access to this one website. Um, they even called me and said, "You can get to that website now." Like, I don't know how they knew that I could get from my place, but yeah, they're, they're, I'm sure they got all kinds of neat technical stuff that they can do. But uh, that that part was really really weird. Um, it, 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 when you get into these. When you get into these technical support loops, like literally hours every day, I was on the phone with them for hours, hours every day, or in those um, uh, uh, AI freaking chatbot uh, monsters, just looping through that, uh, it just becomes nightmarish. It just like things start to seem not real. Uh, you know, it's like it kind of reminds me of when you're a kid and it's 
it's late, you're talking about paranormal stuff, just stuff starts to seem weird. You start to doubt reality. Um, it, it is, it, it is, and again, I know it's, it's basic, simple stuff, first world problems, but it is on the border of traumatizing trying to get something like that fixed because, like, you need it. Like, you, you need the internet. It's, it's a necessity. And, uh, like, it literally felt like they were just trying to stop me from having it weren't being helpful um, the like I said other than that one woman the the support at Xfinity is horrific and I've heard that in the past um, and uh, it's true that's absolutely true there every once in a while you run into a nice person but over the course of what was it five days um, I only ran into one helpful friendly person the rest of them like the whole gamut from indifferent robots to uh, just literally mean-hearted people. Um, so that's that story. I, I could I could keep going. I, I really wish I had taken a uh, a better account of it. Um, I, I, like it's it's always after the fact you realize if I had if I had videoed the entire process, this would have been phenomenal. Like just just like. I'm sure I wouldn't be able to post it and say it's like, you know, this is an Xfinity thing. This is, this is me dealing with Xfinity over the past few days. Because, like, they just, I, I think they'd be mad. Um, and they, they'd probably turn my stuff off. This, in fact, this video will probably get me in trouble. Um, I'm going to turn my, turn my uh, internet back off again out of spite. What you going to do? else interesting happened. Uh, there's some work stuff, but I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, ooh, what is that? Oh, yeah, trash can, middle of the road. Yay! Earlier, uh, when it looked like I was panicking, um, there was a fox. Yeah, I've got the green light. Uh, there was a fox uh, just zipping across the road right in front of my car. I didn't hit him. He, he, he made it. But it, I guess it's been stormy. It's it's weird. It's been raining. I think it's rained every night for the past few days. The weather has been the weather's been weird lately. I, I don't watch the news. Um, my understanding is that most of the planet is in uh, some kind of a heat wave. So uh, I'm all for that. I'm not a big fan of the cold. The problem with being on the East Coast is the, uh, it's not a dry heat, it's uh, very humid out here, so I don't know, I don't know if I'd want to deal with the uh, 110 degree temperatures they have out West. Um, but uh, some of the people out there, like I did catch one little news thing, some of the people out there are saying, yeah, it's 110 degrees, but we don't have the humidity you have on the East Coast, and like, really? Is it, is it? Is it that okay to be 110 degrees outside as long as it's not humid? That seems really hot to me. I think some places are up to like 120. I don't know. That just seems like a ridiculous temperature. It doesn't, it doesn't seem, seem real. It seems dangerous. They should make a law. Obviously, I didn't stick to the 22-minute confines of this one. Uh, I could have. Uh, my story was basically, like, my, my, uh, my wonderful internet story was uh, basically over around the 22-minute mark. I could have made that a standalone. Probably should have. So I really have nothing else to talk about. I might wind this up soon. Uh, not looking forward to today. Too many, way too many meetings. Way too much stuff to do. Some of the meetings that were scheduled for yesterday, I had to push off till today. So all I'm going to be doing today is being in meetings or prepping for meetings. Um,
I'm not bald, I just slicked my hair back today. Sure does look like I'm going bald though. Look at all that forehead. No new news on the ducks. Actually, there is. Um, I could get my wife to start posting things because uh, some some kind of funny stuff happened with the ducks. And she said some funny things, but I don't want to steal her thunder. So I'll either make her post them on Facebook or make her start a channel. She's uh, she's got some good stuff to say.